Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday. Of course, we have been working Monday and Tuesday, but Wednesday is the day that we are traveling to Salford with the production of Sleeping Beauty with the Birmingham Royal Ballet. We start at work. Of course, we still have company class before we head on the coach on the way there. So I was just warming up in the jailbird with a few stretches and exercises. Recently, I've been finding I don't have as much energy and time to warm up. So I've been doing a reduced version of my normal warm up. After class, I did practice some key tree and some things for my move it event, which was going to be in two weeks time. Obviously, when we're on tour, I don't have any space or time to practice for it. So I was trying to get as much practice in before I left um, for tour as absolutely possible. So here I am choreographing a little bit. Um, there were still things that needed to be sorted out in the choreography. And I was slightly stressed because obviously there was only two weeks of the event and I didn't have a whole lot of time to give to it. More than anything with choreography, it's brain space and being on tour and constantly doing shows, there's not a whole lot of brain space. Guess who's rushing for tour again? You think I'd learn the first time? <laughs> oh my days. Or the fifth or the sixth. Last time I was good because I was, I was not well. So I was there on time, but right now we are pushing it. It's because I, I was trying to finish my piece, that's why. I feel like the changes I made I'm happy with. I'm not sure if it's the complete thing, but I feel at least now I have a complete piece that if I performed, You'd be happy. I'd be happy with it, yeah. Before we knew it, it was time to go to Salford and we got on the company coach. It really wasn't that long a journey compared to some of the ones we do on tour. And when we arrived, the weather was so nice. It's finally starting to feel like spring and getting a little bit warmer. So it was nice to get some fresh air before heading to the theater. The, the squads. Right, I'm gonna start the vlog. Here we go. If you don't know where I'm here, my name is Anna Martin. And welcome back to your channel. Do, do, do. <laughs> my intro anymore i'm a part-timer um, we are just claiming our spots in the dressing room because it's a big one in salford it always has so many of us it was an accident coming here so we were 40 minutes delayed on the not coach us. not no not us not us we were not the accident we had class this morning and then now we are here for the next part of the tour we've done one week in southampton two weeks in birmingham and now we own salford we've only got four shows which is like compared to last week we had like seven eight if you count the stage call so I don't want to say it. I'm not going to, I'm going to say it. I, hopefully it should be a piece of cake, but we'll see. We're going to go into Manchester, which will be fun. And then have an early night. That's, that's my, my plan. It is so pretty here. The sun has finally decided to come out. I'm here for it. I need some vitamin D in my life. I'm telling you, I have been deprived of it the last month or so. Matilde, give us an inspirational message. Um, about what? <laughs> go to my Instagram and check it out. This first night on tour was so lovely. We went with some of the girls into Manchester to a lovely Chinese restaurant. I never did this on my first few years here because I was always way too scared. I get too tired for the shows. But now that I'm kind of getting a little bit more used to tour life and managing kind of my workload and my energy levels, I really enjoy going out on these first nights for a lovely meal with all of my colleagues. On Thursday, it was a rehearsal day and opening night, so we had a rehearsal in the afternoon and a show in the evening. I got up, had breakfast, and did my quiet time. We're just getting ready to go. We have a late start this morning, so I got a really solid sleep last night. I had a lovely time with the girls. We had lots of changes to the grid again, which is always fun. On this particular day, I think I was certainly feeling the kind of weeks of shows that we've done already. I was definitely a little bit tired and here we are doing company class. At least we had a really nice view. I think mentally I was definitely trying to keep myself afloat this day. I had my lunch and we had this rehearsal. You can see me in the corner there with our beautiful lilac fairy, Yukahara. And yeah, this kind of rehearsal went on without a hitch. Um, I always try to save a little bit of energy levels because obviously this is just rehearsal and we had the show opening night, which is always important in the evening. 
we went to this lovely new little cargo marketplace to get some some dinner which was yummy but maybe a little bit too oily for my liking so i didn't end up going there again after doing all my rolls and opening night i actually did go out to the bar afterwards to celebrate tessa's birthday one of my colleagues i wasn't there for long but it was a lot of fun and i'm glad i pushed myself out of my comfort zone to kind of spend this time with them this is what life has come to eating porridge at right, half past midnight sadly i put too much water in it so it's like bloop but it's food open night went pretty well another showdown three more to go we can do this good morning everyone it is 8 30 and it is time for some breakfast I sewed a pair of shoes i actually slept pretty well even if it was just for six or seven hours but deep deep sleep I definitely think I was catching up on sleep that I had missed out on the week before in Birmingham. So I'm really, really glad I was able to get those good hours of sleep in because as a dancer, sleep is so, so important. I'm realizing just how important it is because the difference I feel when I sleep well as opposed to when I don't is kind of ridiculous. Um, but you do learn how to kind of do a show however you've slept, however you feel. So I haven't vlogged most of the day. We had class. Also, I worked a bit on my piece. I just watched in rehearsal today because I'm understudying a few parts. I met with a friend that I don't only just met actually, it was a church connection here in Salford, and that was really nice. We met for coffee. Came back to the hotel and chilled out. Ordered my Uber Eats. Oh, it's so cool. I edited a bit of the video. It's been so difficult to edit recently. My heart's not been in it, if I'm really honest. I don't know where I've been out. I've been myself. But I'm waiting and waiting and waiting for my food, getting hungrier and hungrier, and I need to get to theatre. So I picked up my food. It looks really good. I just need to eat it. I didn't get my nice Netflix and food situation. It's okay. We adapt and we overcome. We get to theatre and start getting ready for the show and eat. Multitasking. <laughs> Our 11 p.m. walk back to the hotel every day of our lives right now and I wonder why I'm sleep deprived and sometimes feel a bit depressed but we're we're doing it anyway we're getting through it I need to vlog when I'm at the theatre I never vlog when I'm at the theatre I just get focused you know like I should like well, like I should yeah, be yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a ballet dancer of course I'm sewing shoes at 1 a.m. after a show lol that was my attempt at a meme on TikTok which that's why I don't do much TikTok. Good morning guys, last day, double show day. I need water so bad, I feel so dehydrated this morning. And it's time to talk about the breakfast. Here in Salford, the breakfast was not shabby at all. We had a nice cooked range selection and they had boiled eggs at breakfast, which was perfect because I always would put that in my salad. So big thumbs up for those two things. They also had a lovely little selection of pastries. I love it when they have the little selection small ones because you can like try a few different flavors. Um, they had an okay range of cereals, but of course the only thing I really was interested in was the porridge and they gave good portions. I cannot complain about the breakfast whatsoever. When I went back to my room, I put together my lunch with the boiled eggs from breakfast and then did my quiet time. Good morning, everyone. It's been a short trip here in Salford. You know what time it is. It's, it's hotel review time. As always, need to get to theatre, so let's get cracking. Overall, I feel like this is one of be my wanna been has been one of my favourite hotels I've stayed in so far. I had, did stay here the last two years, but it was just a nice reminder that this is definitely one of my favourite ones. So Salford is one I should look forward to. We've got this nice little desk here. Do you make my lunch and stuff on here? It's a little bit of a mess. Bed super comfortable, really big. It's good plump pillows. The decor is okay. Not loving the carpets. Got to say, the carpets are not the one. I did try and use the TV. They have these new where you can connect your phone to it, but it didn't really work. This mirror, again, great for checking the old outfits in the morning. I like the ones when you have the full length and not just a half. We did get biscuits here. Not that I had them, but there was options. We had a fridge. Amazing, right? The only problem was it's not cold. My question is, is there any point to having a fridge if it's not cold? It's like false hope. So I put stuff in there 
and it all went off. Like I put some milk in there and it, it stumped the room out. I don't know if it actually gets a mark down for the fact that I thought I had a fridge and then realized it didn't work. But anyhow, that's up for debate. In here we have a bathroom, quite liking kind of a lot of space around the sink. The bath was nice, but the plug wouldn't go all the way in. I had to like keep running the water because the water kept going out and I hate wasting water. So overall, I think the room is nice. It just needs like a little bit of renovation of the actual features of it. Do what's in here to look. Your ironing board, an iron there and some coat hangers. Overall, really not a bad experience. I had a very comfortable time here. The fridge, but not a fridge, not great. We do have this nice view though ish nice ish view dirty windows but you kind of it feels very expansive overall i'm gonna give it how harsh do i feel today an eight out of ten really decent but could do with a fridge the bath maybe maybe a seven let's go seven seven out of ten right last day double show day let's get cracking so as always we had company class on stage i do quite enjoy company class on stage i think because there's no mirrors i feel like i judge myself way less and just dance which is really refreshing soon enough it was time for the first show and as always doing tons of different bits and bobs aurora's friends lilac attendance probably mazurka i can't remember what i did on on this particular day to be frankly honest with you and off we are to go and do nymphs in between the shows i decided to go for a little bit of a walk while i waited for my uber eats yes i ordered uber eats from the same place again because it was so good the night before here we actually have the original blue peter garden i believe this is what i was told anyhow so i went and had a little explore around there it's kind of in the middle of this big media city so it's kind of weird its location but um it's really cool because as a kid obviously I don't know if I was a huge Blue Peter fan myself per se, but I know that it was super big when I was a kid. Um, when I got back to the theatre, I had this beautiful Poke Bowl and I got a bit fettered this day because I felt like I needed a bit of extra oomph. So I've just been chilling after the show, ordered some food in, been sewing. The vibe is low right now, not, not in a bad way. It's not the right time to have energy. I need to do my hair. I just hope the energy comes at some point. Caffeine boost. That's the vibe. That is today's vibe. Yeah. Come, come to the vlog. Oh my god, long time no see. Well, I've just told them that like, like dead. Are you? I actually yeah. did have a little giggle earlier because I walked past and Hannah was just there like, they were all doing their makeup. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that was looking. me. Oh, you've been working hard, of course you're tired. I look quite shiny. You, you look snatched. What are you giving us? Oh, I'm just, I'm doing a chill one today. I'm doing court. I think I'm doing- I'm doing court. court. I'm doing hunt. I'm doing court. Hey, Oh, mate, am I not? You're welcome no, that's me. to do a double mazurka if you really feel like it. You have to do live attendance, it's really important. Well, you know I've what? I've got to do this. So I could important. also... The show, it can't happen I without that. I could also do a lilac attendance. You cannot see it's a carabos. The lighting in here is not bad, you know. Just look a bit blurry. I don't know if I want to be in focus, though. I, I just don't like doing Court Lady into Aurora's Friends. You, like, go into Aurora's Friends and my feet feel like little no, no fish. One. It's like going from the nightclub in high heels. <laughs> Hannah goes to loads of nightclubs. Into point work, into a boy's friend. But we're not complaining, we're grateful. We're very grateful, we're very grateful. We're very grateful. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, I'm not feeling the sweaty look today, I'm not, but here we are, act two done. We're back. I don't have it for I don't want to say it, but it feels quite secure. Right, that's our act one beginner's call. I should probably get my costume done up. Last push, end of the show. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. The following week is going to be the craziest one yet. After doing a full week of shows in Sunderland, I was performing at the Move It Dance Convention. Make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on next week's vlog action and comment this emoji if you made it all the way to the end. I'm super excited to share this next chapter of the adventure with you after a lot of hard work finally getting to perform at this event where I actually premiered one of my brand new pieces as well as performing the Act 3 Keytree variation 
on top of trying to manage just my body and my energy levels, it was certainly an incredible experience. So guys, don't forget to dream big and make it happen. I will see you all next week with that exciting vlog. <laughs>